Hi, uh, this is Mridun Nandeep from India State Regular Institute and I will talk about birthday bound attacks on two recent constructions EWCDMD and SOKC21. So here is the outline of the talk. I will first describe my attack model by which uh, we show our attacks on the constructions and then uh, I will describe some generic constructions uh, in particular we, const we consider the compositions of ideal primitives and then we'll show attacks on two existing constructions uh, namely EWCDMD which is accepted in Kepler 17 and SOKC21 which was published in Kepler 19 then I will describe uh, where it went wrong and finally, I conclude with some important future works. Okay, so what is the attack mode? So here, like every distinguishes, uh, uh, every distinguishes has two worlds, like real world or the ideal world. In the real world, we actually implement the real constructions or the constructions are concerned uh, in our topic. So what it does it computes that using the kit functions, the real functions fk. On the other hand, ideal worlds, the tags, tags which is the outputs, are generated randomly. So this is what pictorial, pictorially looks like. The adversary A is interacting with either real world or the ideal world. Uh, and after that, it has to distinguish whether it is interacting with the real world or from the ideal world. So for that, what uh, the measurement of the distinguishing event is you have to consider uh, the event where the A outputs 1 and you have to compute the two probabilities one in the real world and ideal world and we have to uh, have difference have to take a difference between these two probabilities so now we move to the compositions of ideal primitives this is the basic uh, paradigm we will consider when we analyze our attacks. So composition is a very simple but useful principle in cryptography. For example, when you design the block ciphers or hash functions, we use round functions or round permutations which are composed iteratively. It is also used in designing modes, for example, has then PRA or has then PRP. And here we will be interested in the compositions of ideal primitives. So what, what are the ideal primitives we are interested? We will talk, we will consider random functions, which will be denoted as gamma, and the random permutations uh, is denoted as pi. We also consider two models of the adversary, <coughs> which are also popularly used. The one model is a public model and the secret model. In public model, adversary does not have, sorry, in public model, adversary has a direct access of the primitive, whereas in the secret model, adversary cannot have a direct access of that primitive, but however, it can get some information through the modes because the secret primitives is used to design a mode. So as the adversary can observe the output of the modes, he can infer something about the internal primitive, which is secret. Okay, so compositions of two functions, f and g, that is our main uh, target for our analysis, where the f and g can be any one of these three primitives. Either it is random functions, but secret, or random functions, but public, or secret, random parameters. Uh, there is uh, no point to consider public random parameters because uh, mostly you consider in symmetric key, uh, efficiently invertible uh, permutations. So one can easily unfold the permutations. So there is no point of considering the public permutations. So there are some known easy cases about uh, for all possible compositions. So you can see there are nine possible compositions out of nine. Uh, there are some easy to uh, analyze cases. Like if one of them uh, is secret random permutations, then you can, and, bo and both are secret, then you can you can say that the compositions will behave like uh, ideal, either functions or primitive permutations. 
there are some other uh, compositions which has been already analyzed. For example, if you consider the compositions of two secret random permutations, uh, it is not exactly again a secret random permutation because I, here I consider the compositions of two secret random permutations, but both are same. So, like uh, when you apply round permutation, we iteratively use the same round permutations. So, this case has been analyzed by Maynard et al. in 2015, and they have shown that it has almost a big security. And there are similar analysis, but uh, for the random functions by Homik et al. in 2017, and here it uh, has a part of bound security because of the collision and nature of the functions. In particular, in this talk, I will consider a special case where, uh, or a case where we have two independent random functions, comma 1 and comma 2, and we compose that, and we want to see what is the uh, uh, random function, pure PCU random function security of these compositions. And in fact, it is very easy to see that, that it cannot have beyond but the bound security because of the collision nature of these compositions. What do I mean by the collision natures? If the composition has higher chance of collisions compared to the random functions, because the collision can, can happen for the composition if either the secret random functions, the, the first secret random functions has the collisions, or even if it does not have the collisions, then the second layer secret random functions could act. So you, you can see it, it, it has almost double chance of uh, probability of getting collisions. So that can be used uh, to distinguishing from random functions, and this similar attack works for some other simple variants where one of uh, them is public random functions. So using these principles, but the bound attacks on uh, a constructions uh, which was which was submit which was in April 2017 EWCDMD. So what what was that constructions? It is actually dual versions of EWCDM proposed by Kakriati et al. in 2016, and this version is proposed uh, by Manik et al. in 2017 in Kipto. But I just want to note here that this version is not, uh, this version is not, uh, uh, this not was presented uh, in the crypto, or uh, it's not, uh, it, it was actually, it was actually presented in the uh, pre-proceeding versions, in the just uh, uh, after, Paper got accepted. I uh, communicated with the authors, and I came to see these constructions, and, came to, and I found some weakness of these constructions. So later on, the authors communicated with the, uh, the editors and, and removed that portions of the designs because this this has this design has some flaws. Okay, so coming back to my talk, so this is what the EWCDM looks like. If you see, there are two type inputs, one is a new, which is the nonce, and the another is the hash of message. So nonce, uh, it cannot repeat, but the message can repeat. And we have two secret random permutations, pi1 and pi2, okay? If you see clo closely, this can be actually viewed as a composition of two random functions, but not exactly random function, quasi random function. This is, you can distinguish that uh, uh, from uh, random functions by but the bound attack, but it is uh, a quasi-random function. So how we can view that? The next slide you can see that we have a first component is this one, and the second component is this one. So this is actually the compositions of two quasi-random functions. So the attack will be the similar like the compositions of the true random functions. We will compute the tag for different messages and up to for n by 2 messages we will expect higher collisions, higher number of collisions compared to random functions. Uh, but uh, you note that our composition attacks works as both complementary functions but because they are not true random functions uh, you have to do a little bit uh, involved calculations to calculate what is the exact collision probability for these constructions. But this is not that much different. Now I come to our uh, next and most interesting uh, compositions, which is uh, uh, first apply the secret random permutations followed by the public random functions. 
Can you note that you don't get higher collisions like, like before because the secret random permutations produce distinct inputs for the public random functions and in fact distinct random inputs. So the outputs of the public random functions will behave exactly like a output of a true random functions. But it is public random functions. We will exploit that feature to have a distinguishing attack. So what we will do, we will first make the queries to the public primitives, some xi's, and we, yi's are the output of the public primitives. And then we, where we make queries to the, the compositions functions. And let, there's, it doesn't matter what is the input as long as they're distinct. So let's call it 1 to q are all the inputs and ci is at the output of the compositions. So my distinguishing event will be to, of, to detect whether there is a matching between the y list and the c list. If there, ex there exists some i and j such that yi equal to cj we will return 1 otherwise 0. So why this attack works? So let's uh, see how the composition works for the input j. So let's let's call it j j is the internal input. Then this, the final output cj can be viewed as a pop public and function output of jj. So we do not know, do not know what, what is exactly the value of jj, but we have these relations. On the other hand, we have yi, which is the public random function output of the xi. So if xi matches with jj, so xi is trying to guess the values of jj. So if xi matches uh, the, uh, with some jj value, then we have yi equal to cj. That is what it is. But even if it doesn't match, there is a chance of uh, chance of above equality, right? Because uh, this yi is a random. So even if xi is not equal to c j, j the output can match because uh, the public we have a public random functions, right? So that means we have a higher chance have a higher chance to have this matching probability compared to uh, the matching probability with uh, the with the public random functions, with the, the fun random functions. So this will give a distinguishing attack, and this can be applied for the, the our next constructions, which is SOKAC 2.1, uh, proposed by Chen et al. in Kepto 2019. It's very recent constructions. So this is the construction, SOKAC 2.1. It is a, basically uh, a block cipher constructions uh, sorry, this is the pseudo-random function constructions uh, using public primitives. So we have a two public primitives, pi1 and pi2, and here we have one key. So this 2, 1, these parameters actually depends on uh, what, what, how many keys we are using, how many public permutations we are using. So there are different variants. And this is one variant where we use two public primitives and one key. And why it is called sum of keys? If you look at closely how wh how the construction looks like, so it is uh, we have we have uh, this KC one that is key alternating cipher, also it's called the Ivan Mansur, and then we up and we have another Ivan Mansur or KC key alternating cipher, but applied to U, which is defined as this. So that means we have uh, two KC key alternating cipher, and we, we add them. However. It can be rewritten as simply like this. Like if you call this, you have already called it, uh, uh, this one as KC1. So the SOKAC21 is nothing but the Davis Mayer function, Davis Mayer output on KC1. So you do not know the, out, the KC1 value, but the pi2 is a public primitive. So it is a public functions on some secret input which is case one so uh, we can uh, basically what we have done we can view this as a again a compositions of two things one is this one our attack does not exploit the public queries to the pi one pi so we can assume uh, separately that this is a secret random permutations and we have a, uh, yes, we have a second component which is a uh, functions, public functions, which is basically Davis-Mayer functions. So, SOKC21 is actually 
the composition of uh, uh, DM and the, the Davis mayor and the secret random uh, permutations. So that means we we fall under the second comp uh, composition category. So we can actually use the same idea uh, like what we, we showed for the generic case of the true random uh, secret random permutations uh, followed by the public random functions. But here you note that DM, that uh, Davis mail is not perfectly random functions. But here you do one trick. If you choose the inputs of DM in a without replacement manner, or it's close to that replacement manner or the without replacement manner exactly, the output of DM can be viewed as a sum of two without replacement samples, which is nothing but a sum of two random permutations, independent random permutations, and it is well known that this is very close to the uniform distribution. That means it's very close to the true random functions. So we can use this principle along with the completion attack strategy uh, to get a birthday bound attack on SUKC21. So this is pictorially, pictorially it looks like that. So we have uh, we have to basically look for the collisions between the C list and the Y list. So now I conclude what I have prescribed. We have prescribed the birthday bound attacks for the SOKC21, but this attack does not work if the final output is masked by a different key. So this is one variant, another variant of SOKC. Uh, beyond birthday bound security for such a mask, SOKC not yet proven. So that would be an interesting problem, open problem. The birthday bound PRF distinguishing uh, attack prescribed for, we have prescribed the birthday bound PRF distinguishing attack for EWC DMD. And the distinguishing attack demonstrated on EWC DMD does not work for EDM or EWC DM or many other variants of these particular constructions. Because these are these cannot be viewed as a composition of two non-injective functions, which is the main uh, criteria uh, to exploit our uh, criteria which we exploit to get our data. Okay, so what are the open problems? The proving beyond but the own security of some other variants, as I mentioned, and also the the PRF. We have, we have described the PRF attack, but it does not lead to the MAC attack. So it would be interesting to see the MAC security of the EWC DMD. Okay, so, okay, I forgot to talk about why it went wrong, right? So I should mention uh, why it went wrong. Uh, probably uh, it, the, uh, it, the, the main flaw is mainly the battery's middle theory is not rightly used. That's uh, one of the main flaw. But, uh, this is not actually the main problem for this problem. I just want to spend some time on it. So this is what I am, to me, it is, it is the flaw is in the review system. For many reasons, the reviewers cannot go details in the proof. It may be the time constraint or the reviewers may not be expert in the domain or, um, or maybe due to the, uh, the non availability of the expert uh, in that particular domain. So, as we are uh, running for so many papers uh, in the different conferences, so we are getting higher and higher chances of uh, getting flawed uh, designs or flawed proofs. And even the proofs can be very complex. So that, uh, that can be another reason for the uh, reviewers not to go details in the proofs. But I have seen the later, uh, many cases that uh, even if the original proof was very complex, but Later on, the simplified proofs comes. Maybe it's, it is due to better understanding of the subject, but it may be due to not. Uh, maybe the author didn't spend much time uh, on on the insight of the proof. Uh, so if we if we spend more time on the construction before we publish uh, on the proof before we publish, then probably uh, the best uh, or the simple proof can be presented in the beginning and. Uh, that actually reduces uh, the chance of having some flaw in, in the proof. And that is my most important, that's uh, in my more point, the most important future work. So how to get rid of this raising concepts. And this is, uh, 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 this and uh, other points uh, are actually uh, considered uh, by Neil Koblitz and Alfred Menzies in recent papers, the critical perspectives on probable security, 15 years of another look papers. So I will recommend uh, to all uh, viewers to go through these papers to get the flavors of 
what is the situation in the cryptography where so many papers with so many flaws. So we should be, uh, we should take some uh, steps maybe now uh, to do something uh, to get rid, get rid of these raising concerns. Thank you and be safe.